<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a bit of a beauty haul. Basically, all of my stuff ran out at the same time because that's what happens every time, isn't it? Um, so I needed to go and buy more stuff. Hang on a minute. Um, yes, yeah, so I needed to go and buy some more stuff. Um, so I used to use Elemis and over well, it's been about three years. And then before my sister went to Australia, she gave me a big box full of Elemis stuff that she didn't need and she couldn't take with her in a rucksack. So she gave it to me and it was great. Um, but it's all run out now and I don't I don't really want to buy more of that. So this is my second round of body shop stuff that I've been using. So here we go. Not only body shop stuff, it's also stuff that I bought in boots because was it boots? Yeah. So anyway, we'll start, we'll get started. First thing, so this is, I think it's the first time I've used this actually, but I really like the vitamin E body shop stuff. Um I've used a few of their other things, but not the cleanser. Last time I had the it's, it's a little tub cleanser that it's like a cleansing balm. But I found that it made my skin really oily, and it was good. But it's, obviously, it's not for everyone's skin, and it wasn't for me. I get really oily, especially on my my nose. Um, so this is the vitamin E cream cleanser from the Body Shop, and it says for all skin types. Hurrah! So you just put. This is what I do anyway. I don't know whether it's what you're meant to do. But I just squirt it onto some cotton wool and then I kind of dab it on my face and then wipe it all off on my makeup off. But I also use some micellar water which I've used for ages as well um, just to try and get my eye makeup off. Oh, there's my question. Um, if anyone knows of a good eye makeup remover, not like that doesn't break the bank, but a good one, um, let me know because I am really struggling to get my mascara off on a night to the point where I wake up with panda eyes because I think I've got it off but I obviously haven't got it all off um, so if anyone knows of one in fact the body shop probably do do one but yeah so that's that anyway and that is I think hang on I've put the receipt in here so I remember what, so I remember what to say that was seven pounds I think that's quite good. Also, it's three for two at the moment on their stuff, so I got, well, I got four things, but one was, wasn't in the offer anyway, so there we go, that's that one. Then I needed a new, well, actually, I haven't had, a bit naughty, I haven't had a day cream for ages, um, so I have been, I've, I've, well, I've basically been using my night cream or not bothering putting one on. So I said, oh, I need a day cream, and the lady said, why don't you try this? Now this is the Vitamin E Aqua Boost Sorbet. There you go, I don't know if you can see that. It's so nice. It's really light because I don't have loads of time in the morning. So to put, I literally do a quick cleanse again. Normally I do a bit of a spritz of a toner, but that's also run out and I haven't bought a new one of them yet. And then my cream before I put my makeup so I need something that's just going to soak into my skin really quickly so this is really nice it's really light and it smells it smells quite nice as well it's a bit I don't even know I suppose it smells like vitamin E the vitamin E range but it's a bit different and it's a bit it's not like cream it's so it's a sorbet it's all a bit boingy and it's really it's really nice so I would definitely recommend that anyway. And I think that was £13. Yes, it was. So, so far, so good. And you only need a tiny bit and just squirt it. Squirt it. It's because I've just heard Rob squirt his deodorant. <laughs> um, yeah, just put it all over and it just sucks in really quick and it's lovely. It's aqua, aqua boost, so... No. It's really nice anyway, I like that. Then also, I needed a new night cream and I'd been using the, the vitamin E night cream and that's just run out and I really like that but the lady said, why don't you try this? I'm so easy to sell to. Um, she literally said, do you want, why don't you try this? And I go, okay. This is vitamin E overnight serum in oil. And I was a bit dubious about it because like I said, I get a bit oily skin and she said, she, she does as well. And that this isn't that oily so it comes in what's this a pipette 
you put a little little pipette you let you in a, a science lab and you just pop a little bit on your finger and it actually it isn't you just need a tiny little bit and it goes all over and it, you don't wake up with an oily face at all it's really well i don't it's really nice and that was i think that was a bit more expensive that was 15 pounds but because i got all three it was on three for two so i suppose i suppose probably got the cheapest one free but yeah so that was really good i really like the vitamin e stuff and i know my mum does too she uses them my other thing this is my third time i've used this and i used to use clarins flash balm and obviously that's a bit pricey i think it's about 28 pounds but this is i i don't know whether it's a cheap alternative but i like this it is the insta glow cc cream from the body shop and it's in the color bright glow and it says for light skin there you go it also says healthy glow reviver spf 20 handy so i think you can wear this on its own i'll show you it's it's really nice it's just it just puts a little bright glow on your face it's so no whether it's so no whether you can see that um, but I use it underneath my foundation so I cleanse, tone, moisturise then I pop this on before I put my foundation on and I really like it and like I said it's my third bottle it's £14 which I think is a really good deal anyway um, compared to 28 and it lasts ages because you don't need loads and I just put it everywhere and it just I think gives it a bit of brightness through through your foundation brightens your skin so I love that I obviously love it, otherwise it wouldn't be on my third bottle. So the next thing, so these are all things from Boots now, is my powder run out. Now I, I, oh actually, no, first thing. So what happened was I went into Debenhams because my foundation ran out and I said, right, I need this shade. I just, she looked and looked and looked, you know, and you're losing hope. And I thought, she's not got my foundation. And I, I do have a little bit left in the bottle. And I'm onto like a cotton bud now, like scraping it out. But you know, you just don't want to run out because that day when you've got a big spot on your face and you go to use your foundation and there's none left, then you're screwed. Because I don't have a backup foundation. Don't, I used to have a Rimmel as a backup. No, nothing now. So I'd just, I'd be go, going to work with like, like I'm Davin and Stacey with big sunglasses on and a cap, trying to hide my face. Um, so, because of that, she said, but I can give you a sample. So, I use Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, and I've used this for years. I've tried other foundations, but I don't think anything, nothing compares to this. For me, I've tried the Charlotte Tilbury, I can't remember what it's called. I told my friend Nicola to try it, actually, so I think she tried it, she really liked it. And I really liked it in the shop, and then, when I, um when I got home it just would not sit on my nose because my nose is a bit oily I tried, I tried putting powder on underneath and different things underneath it it just would not stay on so this just works for me so this is just a little sample that she gave me um, just really handy so hopefully, that, I'm sure that's meant to last a week just to say, but I'm sure it is and actually she hasn't written on it but my shade is Pale Almond and um, I'm hoping that I get some off Christmas and that I can just get by until then. Might have to go in and blag my, myself another another sample. That's very naughty. Um, so on the same um, on the makeup front, I also I just use this Rimmel complexion. Oh, what is it? Rimmel London clarifying powder. There you go. And it's just, I just use transparent. I don't really use a lot of powder. So I literally, once I put my, my foundation on and I've done all my contouring and concealer and all different bits, um, I just put, put my brush on and I just dab it onto my forehead and onto my T-zone. I don't do it on my cheeks because I put plenty of other stuff on there. Um, and it's just to set it a little bit and to stop it getting oily or, you know, just mat the bits I want to be matted, mattified. Um, and then my other thing is now this is the first time I tried this it's Se 17 I think it's a really good brand in boots the, for, for just the cheap things that I am a bit of a bit little bit of a makeup snob only with like 
foundation and mascara and the odd other bit but for things like concealer that you run out of all the time I just I go to 17 so normally I use a different one with a wand but this is 17 skin wow concealer there we go and I've got it in fair I don't know if it actually says here fair because I use it not only to conceal but to try and contour a little bit so I try and I put it under my eyes and sometimes I put it here and here and here not very often because I don't go out out anymore so if I was going out out I probably would but I like it it reminds me of Tusha Chiclair YSL but you just do a little bit of that and it brushes on really nicely um, so I'm going to give it a go anyway I don't think I don't know how much it was actually I think it was 4 99 but I'll try it I'll link everything down below anyway so that's from Boots 17 and then my other thing which is my final thing is now this is also this is like my third or fourth one of these it's 17 to find and conquer contour kit and I think this was either 4 99 no it wasn't it's 5 99 and this I've gone with the medium one I think although I don't know where it actually says that Oh, it does, it says medium. So this is it, and I haven't opened it yet. I can never get into these packets. I managed to get into it in the end. Um, so I think the packaging's really nice. For the price tag, like, it's, I just think it's lovely, and it's nice and compact so you can stick it in your makeup bag. <sighs> anyway, so it's got, um, it's got your bronzer and your highlighter, perfect. That's all you need, really, for basic. And it's got instructions. Um, yeah, so I just I think that's really handy, and I I like to I literally use it every day, and I obviously like it because I'm on to my third or fourth one. Right, a few clothing bits that I bought. I just I went to Tesco yesterday, and I got this Christmas jumper. I was having Christmas lunch with my friends today, and I was like, please, I'll be wearing your Christmas jumpers. Then I thought, where am I? don't have them, don't know where they are. Um, I think they're actually at my mum's. So I went nipped to Tesco, I was like, right, I need to get a Christmas jumper. This was £20, all the reindeer's names on, and it's lovely soft wool. Like, I don't even know, I don't know whether it's like proper knit or what, but I'll try and tell you. Well, it's some bread though, it's nice. Um, so £20, and I really like it, and it's not too thick. Um, also, I got these leggings. To go with it so penguins because I thought seeing as it's got grey and pink on there grey and pink on here um, and these were £14 so I probably won't really wear them out the house depends where I go uh, but I'll definitely I'll definitely wear them on Christmas day definitely and I also got this t-shirt don't get your tinsel in a tangle and that was £8 and I really like that and actually I could wear that with the leggings um, yeah so that's all my things that I've bought lately um, one other thing is that on Thursday this week on a Thursday me and two other people go to a music class and then always um, this, is, this is with the children I look after not just I don't just go on my own um, and then we always go to Garson's farm afterwards and one of the other um, nannies normally meets us as well but she didn't come this week um, and I think she'll be gutted because when I went and I met, met everyone in the car park pushing the pram through the garden centre and the person I was with I went oh my god there's Frankie and Wayne. Right anyone that knows me really well through school definitely my sister would know how excited this made me. Now, Wayne's just been in the jungle. I'm talking about Frankie and Wayne Bridge, by the way, because some people probably would not know what I'm talking about. Or even the person I was with, I was going, oh my God, oh my God, it's Frankie and Wayne, it's Frankie and Wayne, it's Frankie. And she's going, hey, I'm going, Frankie and Wayne Bridge. She still didn't know what I was saying. I was so excited, I couldn't get my words out properly. I'm saying, the Saturdays, the Saturdays. And my other friend went, I can't eat my lunch knowing that they're over there. We're gonna have to go back and see them. So off we went. I was ex I was so excited that I was shaking. My hands were going like that. On Christmas morning, that is what I do. I don't really get the excited shakes for many other things. But this, I have followed Frankie since she was 
auditioning to be in the S Club Juniors. Me and my sister watched it on the Saturday morning programme. I don't know what this programme was. It was like Saturday something and it was on BBC, on CBBC, I remember that. And me and Robin started watching it. And so they auditioned all the people to be in the S Club Juniors. And um, I think S Club 7 helped them. And then um, Frankie was one of the S Club Juniors. And she was always my favourite, always, always. And I used to write into the to the Saturday show. That's what it was. I used to write into the Saturday show to see if I could meet them. I entered all competitions to meet them. And then I, when I went to see Girls Aloud one year, the Saturdays were, were um, they were supporting S, um, Girls Aloud. And I was like, oh my God, that's Frankie that was in S Club Junior. So again, I started following her, all these things. And then I followed on her Instagram. And I used to have my hair cut when she had it short down one side and long down the other. I got my hair cut like that. Not because I wanted to be her, but just because I really liked the style and wanted to try it. And everyone was like, don't do it. And I just, it's one of them things, like the more someone tells you not to do it, you think, if I, if I don't do it now, I might never do it. I just want to try it. And I'll tell you what, if anyone's thinking of doing it, I'll tell you, don't do it. Because it's such a pain in the ass to try and grow out. And I'm only just now getting it, my hair like nice and long again. Anyway, that's not, that's totally sidetracking. So basically, I'm a massive fan of Frankie. Always have been, always will be. And I've seen her right there in front of me in the garden centre. And we went and got a picture. I will insert the pictures here. There you go. And then I we we I walked up to her and I went, oh, you know when you try and act really cool and it just goes out the window. I walked up to her and went, I've looked. I've loved you since the S Club Juniors. And she was like, oh wow, thank you. And she was so lovely and Wayne was lovely and obviously Wayne's just been in the jungle. And I said, oh well done Wayne in the jungle, it was so good. And um, and, I, and and Frankie was just really nice. And we had a photo with Frankie and we had a photo with Wayne. And I was so chuffed for the rest of the day. And I was, I was hugging them and I was shaking. And I, so ridiculous but anyway I, they only they literally live down the road like from where I work they live they I drive past their house every morning and I know where they live and I know that sounds dark me but I'd actually really like to be their friends but the, probably because I'm so it's probably never gonna <laughs> but yeah I was so so chuffed that's probably probably been the, the top person for me to meet because I've just loved her for so long and just think she's really just totally gorgeous and just she's really good at she's a really good mum and she's really she's a good singer isn't she yeah. and the fact that she's really down to earth is just lovely as well so that's just that's been like my favourite moment of the week this week and my first person that I text was my sister and gone oh my god look what's just happened and of course she's in New Zealand at the moment so she's 13 hours ahead the first person I texted she's the last person to reply but she she was like I hope you've told them how that you I hope you told her that you've loved her since the junior days I was like yes it did exactly say that so there you go um so it's been a good week I've got all my all my things so now I can put go and put all these away um but anyway I hope you like the video um next week I'm traveling up to Carlisle so I will do my best I will do my best to vlog that and then edit it and it's going to be a crazy busy week but at least I've only got 10 more working days <laughs> before a few days off I can have a bit of a rest anyway um I hope you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you've liked it and if you'd like to see more from me I'd appreciate it if you'd like to subscribe press the little red button and yeah so I'll see you soon bye